welcome back to another episode of Shoe Talks. Guys, today I have a I have a doozy. I have a doozy. I have a whole panel. Um, we are going to be talking about dating with expectation. Uh, sorry, not expectation, intention. Well, I mean, technically you have an expectation when you date and your expectation is your intention. So I'm not all the way wrong. Um, so I have a few people. I'm going to let them introduce themselves and... I will give the disclaimer that everybody here is over the age of 30. Yes. And we're just, it's, it's an adult conversation. So we, I don't have to say it, but we all will be respectful and uh, no judgment unless y'all want to judge afterwards. And I don't know, maybe somebody will walk away, you know, and then somebody established. So if they do, then, you know, I'll take credit for it. I don't know. You never know. So um, with that being said, I don't know whoever wants to start. But I'm gonna have you introduce yourself by your name, your age, and how long you've been single. I'll go first since I'm already here. Uh, name is Vlad. I'm 34, and man, I've been single. That is a great question. <laughs> that Define is a single. Great, that is it. Well, we carry two. Multiply <laughs> by three. I was single. You can do like five plus years if you want to say nah, that. It really has been, but I'm, I'm really, yeah, I'll just say five plus years to be on the safe side. But it's, yeah, yeah. five plus years. Five plus years. All right. Hey, what's going on? This is um Greg. You call me um sexual chocolate on occasion <laughs> sometimes. Um, but yeah, um, 41 and um, been single, what, two weeks. So, you know. Oh, oh fresh me. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Pause on that one, but yeah. You know. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> so quick question. The, the the title of sexual chocolate, did that come within the last two weeks or what? Oh, it only been sexual chocolate. <laughs> I, mean, it is sexual chocolate you know? I didn't know if this was like a rebirth, like a rebranding type joint. Oh no, nah, I don't have to be brand. I'm I'm, I'm the original. <laughs> oh, okay, my oh, bad. Dang, oh, yeah. pezone, pezone. <laughs> Um, all right, so my name is Regine. Um, I am your ray of sunshine. I am 34, and I have been single for um, three and a half years now. Yeah, three and a half years. Okay. All right. Well, see, like I said, we have 30 plus. Um, all right, so my first question, uh, because, you know, we are talking about dating with intent, and I do feel like we are in a society where people don't necessarily start their dating life with intent. It's just have fun. Let me just stick my wherever. <laughs> I mean, we just fresh out of college. Am I lying? Am I, am I lying? I mean, it could be, it could be any time you, fresh. Well, not right now, but I'm saying like when you first start that dating life, you usually are fresh out of college or in college you're not necessarily lo looking for anything serious. So when, when would you say that you actually started to learn about the importance of dating with intent? Or when, when did you start dating with intent? I, I would guess, I guess when, when that woman made that ultimatum. <laughs> so, 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 dating with so you intent. were forced? Uh, yeah, I mean, I won't say forced, right? I guess I would say that it was implied like, what are we doing? Because, you know, if you get older, I would have to say that a woman starts seeing her friends, you know, starting to live that life and have long-term relationships. And then when she's dating, you know what I mean? Then I guess that question comes about, like, well, I'm dating this guy. Okay, where is it going? Because obviously, she, in her mind, she's seeing the potential in, in the relationship. And maybe the guy at the time is just, you know, just trying to fill it out, trying to see what's going on, trying to see where her mind is at. And for her, she she knows where she's at. Yeah. And so, you know, so when she's, you know, having her friends or just, you know, maybe just her, like, just her just wanting to, like, lip start that life with someone, um, she starts implying, you know, implying, hey, like, what's going on? What are we doing? And I think it's the guy's, you know, option to either say, hey, we just... I'm trying to see what's up. Things are not right for me right now. Or you could say, I'm trying to move on, trying to move with you. And a lot of times, you know, some guys make that choice. Other guys be like, nah, this ain't the, it's not the moment. For me. It's not the time. Okay. So that nah. that situation, when you got, to, you got the ultimatum, you, it initiated your start of dating with intent? Yeah. 
Right, yeah, start the process. It's start okay. the process. Ray? I'm going to come back to you on that, Ray. I'm going to let Ray talk and Vlad talk. Yeah. So, I think I've always been, I've always been like a long-term person. Yeah. Um, and I don't know if it was really intention because, I, I don't know, I think that was just me and my personality. But like, you know how when they say you, you're here for a fun time, not a long time? I've always been like, but I want to have a fun time for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's, I guess for me, that's kind of been like the way that I've always carried on with my relationships. And it's not to say like, I didn't have the intention of like going down the aisle with this person or whatever. No, like I'm here to have a great time with somebody who I think is super dope, who I hope also thinks that I'm super dope for a really long time. So that's my intention. Um, and I feel like that's been the case in the relationships that I've been in. So unfortunately, I couldn't really like, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? Under, not understand, but like I couldn't relate to <laughs> what you were talking about. Like mm -hmm. straight out of college, smash and dash situation. Nah, that's never really been my type, my vibe. No one, not, no one night stands? No, I've never really had a one night stand. You never really had one, or you had one? Like, you, 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 you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never, I've never had one. Okay, okay. I've never had one. All right. So all your all your relationships has been just long term, just straight out the box. We out here going together. Um, not just out here going together. Like, I would have a good time for a long time. Okay, that's not what you with intended. You just having a good time. That's a fun time. Greg taking over my show. <laughs> <laughs> he, wants, he wants to know the D. Hey, the yeah. intention to have a good time. That could take that could be in multiple forms in multiple ways. Okay. So that could be like, you know, I have a great relationship with you. I have a great rapport with you. I like spending my time with you. That doesn't just automatically and only mean a sexual connotation. Like I enjoy, I sincerely enjoy your company. Right. So okay. that's my good time. But I'm not talking about like a solely sexual relationship. Not a, like, yeah, not a situationship, as as, yeah. as the young kids like to call it. Yeah, a situationship is sexual. Stop right there. Gotcha. Oh, Lord. I'm going to let Vlad tell us about his dating with intent. <laughs> yeah, 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 cut me off. Cut me off. Yes. <laughs> I'm with Regine. Like, uh, I, every, I guess it's reversed for me because most men like their sexual um, maturity or whatever that they go through is usually is just like, I guess they're just navigating themselves or trying to find themselves just by dating like multiple women and stuff like that. But for me, growing up, two parent household, I was in church, um, I had strict parents. So basically, I was just mimicking or trying to mimic what I grew up in, which was like, you know. You took my next question, well, but go like, ahead. Husband and wife. So. Obviously, I'm a young buck. I don't fully understand. It's just what I see. So I'm just trying to copy it. So therefore, like, even at a young age, when I was talking to women, it was always with the intentions to court them in the right way. And like, eventually, you're my girlfriend. And that, that, that was that. Like, it was never like, oh, I'm gonna talk to you. I'm gonna talk to you. I'm gonna talk to you. And I'm gonna do this and do that. And whatever. Like, that was like, I never, that was never my experiences. Like, now, as I got older, I realized, um, it's, I guess, in a sense, it's whatever you want to be. Like, you got to just take everything with a grain of salt. Mm -hmm. Some people, like, you want to date with intentions. And some people are just like, I just want to see where this goes. But, like, like Rachel was saying, or she was saying. Um, That's okay. I can edit that part out. My fault. <laughs> <laughs> As she was saying, my bad. I messed that up. As she was saying, like, the whole college thing and smash and grab, like, that was never my experience. Like, even in college, even my teenage years, I was one girl one yeah, guy making me feel real bad no like no that's that's what it was it wasn't it was up until like like probably like my mid-20s after that, like around that time like 23 24 after that particular ex-girlfriend where i was just like you know still in that still in that courting phase like yeah. husband, like oh you know fian wife boyfriend girlfriend you know fiance like that was the you know one two three stuff right. i didn't work out and she really pissed me off and i was like you know what 
I'm gonna try my hand at this thing they call casual sex, and let's see how that goes. Fail. Great fit. That's a great <laughs> thing, man. You didn't, you didn't fail. 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 You know what I'm saying? It sucked. It sucked in the beginning because I was just like, oh, I just want one person because that's all I was used to. It and eventually, you know, I exercised <laughs> that other part. And in between that time, I'm finding that there was a lot of women. You killed Reggie. I was realizing there was a lot of women like, oh, they didn't. Well, I'm not gonna say they did not care because eventually. That like what Greg like Greg like he was talking about. It comes a point in time where they hit you with that ultimatum, like, hey, we're, just, you're, we're in each other's company for X amount of time. We spent all this time together. What yeah. are we doing? But yeah. for the most part, like, yeah, you know. Can I chime in right there? Go ahead. Like, if if you're, you have to understand the woman's point of view, and like, one, if she's spending that amount of time with you, and she sees something in you that's when she's going to give you the ultimatum. If she doesn't care about you and doesn't see any potential in like something coming to fruition that benefits her, or like if she thinks that she could benefit you, she's not going to ask you that question because she won't care. Right. No, that's a fact. So technically you should look at it as if she not asking you, then you not the only one that she, that she yeah, might not checking for you. My friends, my friends will always tell me that because I'd always say that this is going to sound terrible, but <laughs> <laughs> it would be like, you know, guy talk. He's like, oh, I was just talking to this person who I knew about a girl that, you know, who was a free spirit. So therefore, I haul at her. I, I, you know, I'm engaging with her. I'm talking to her because that, that's that's exactly what I want to do. Like, I free spirit is code for something. She, 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 she's a jump off. Yeah, well, you know, she a jump, I guess. <laughs> you know, jump off is a jump. I feel like it's a little, it's a little, she's a thotty. It's a little dirty. No, 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 no. There's see, there's jump offs, and then, then there's this free spirits who are still respectable women. You know, they just not. They're not. They don't they're not yeah, they're not she's looking for anything. Sexually liber liberated. Exactly. Uh, they're liberated call. women. Um, <laughs> yeah, liberated women. But the whole point of that was just like you know, that's what I wanted to do, and now all of a sudden you don't want to. You don't want to be a hoe for me now. Like now, now you want to lock it down. You want to lock it down with me, but you was a hole for everybody else like two months ago. But you want to lock it down for me? Why? And then you know my boys. That, that was that was attention. Though. You have a boy. You have boy, they say I have boyfriend game, which I'm like, well, if I like you, then I'm, I'm gonna want to spend time with you, regardless if I'm telling you like, we're this is not what we're doing. Like I don't want a relationship right now. But if you want to go to the movies, I'm like, yeah. I, I can pencil you in. You know, movie. I can pencil you in. I'm being real. I mean, but but she sees value in you. That's why that's where the attention comes from. Like she saw value in you. So right. now she shows like she wants to now date with intent. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know, stay if someone sees value in you and sees like spending time with you and doing all the stuff and you're being just a genuine person yourself, she sees, okay, wow. Now she's gonna ask a question like, hey, what's up? Because no. now it's like, yeah. <laughs> so, so actually it's funny you say that because both Greg and Vlad, you guys are using an example of the woman saying, all right, you know, I see something in you. I want, you know, I'm giving you an ultimatum. Have you guys ever come to a point or why, why do you think men are hesitant to have that same approach? Um, I will say, I'm, I'll say has like, I mean, this time really a guy will put himself out there and say, hey, I want to date you and go with intent and so forth. And then it doesn't work out. So I think at that time, he's now like, well, shit. Well, I'm just gonna kind of like protect myself from this situation. Like, I'm I'm gonna see where she wants to be at, type stuff. You know what I mean? So you where put the like, ball in her court. Well, it's not. It, it's 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 kind of corny to say like to let her decide like to put the ball in her court. But technically speaking, this, everything's in her court. Like, getting sex is in her court. Like, relationship, being married, everything's in her court. That's so not like, true. it's not true. I no. can't get sex with I can't get sex without a woman's permission. Yeah, the se the sex is correct. However, you marriage is not you have to ask. Even if you have to ask, Ozen is not hundred percent. You still have it's to not hundred percent. You have to ask, and that she has to choose you. I mean, there's, no, there's outliers if, and no, women will propose. To guys, them. guys, no. If you're proposing to somebody, you're choosing them, and then they say, "Yeah, I'll be on your team." So technically, right. you guys are initiating that. But she's the ball is still in her court because she court. still has to say yes. But you yes. put but the I would hope that she wouldn't get down. I, on I, hand, I hand her the ball. Yes. It is now in her court, <laughs> and she has to now. One, she has to now accept the ball, and then we are on the same team now. But she can't accept that's the ball that's not there. Go ahead. A proposal and alley oop, like you, 
you know what's going to happen. You know that your player is coming down to go catch the ball and dunk it. Mm-hmm. You shouldn't be throwing it up there if you don't know that your player is going to come and catch it. Mm, you that's are, also you, true. You, 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 mm. but that's, okay. That's, that's, that's fair. Right? Still, so the ball in the bucket, right? still, still, we're still you're passing. The we're still putting the ball. The we're still passing the ball on to the, the next player. It's still an assist, and they still have to finish it. Right. So sure, you're, not gonna, you're not going to pass the assist when home. Not the confidence. The other player is on the other side of the court. I would hope that she says yes. That's the whole, <laughs> so the whole point of this is that we all understand that we hope that this person says yes. Say yes, yes, but it's a collaborative effort. For the most part. You yeah. you need two people. 100%. And, and, I will, and I will I hope so. You can't propose, you can't propose yourself to, to by yourself. I'm, <laughs> I can't you I'm, I'm just going to go out on a limb and just make an assumption. I'm going to just say maybe like 96% of men already know that the engagement, like that the proposal answer is yes, before y'all go spend money and and plan out a whole proposal and do all of that. Y'all not, yeah. nobody's proposing anymore after six months. Nobody's proposing anymore after a year. You guys have had a well thought out relationship. You guys have already, when I say guys, I'm actually specific, specifying men. You guys, you men have already put all your pros and cons have already spoken to parents, spoken to friends, went with friends to get the ring chosen, went, spoken to friends to have it all planned out. So you already know, <laughs> you already know that this yes, it's coming. So technically not to devalue you guys saying the ball is in the woman's court, but it really is on your, we can't get married to ourselves. No, we still, we obviously I, yes, I have. That men do play like, we, <laughs> that goes without saying I, to answer your question like when I tell women this I don't know why they it's always a shocker but I always tell them like yo most men know that they're going to either make you uh, they're going to you know make you their girlfriend or ask you out to be their girlfriend or take you serious or they're just going to like play you're around. just a jump off yeah they're just going to play around like and I also say that most men fall in love faster than the woman that they're courting that they're talking to. Yeah, y'all just don't tell us that. Exactly, because a lot of you yeah. know we're not. Which I think is stupid. But go ahead. Yeah, for the, you whoa, know, whoa, whoa! <laughs> sorry. <laughs> again, oh, I'm about to add I want to say I, I, I don't want to use a lot, but I I I'll just use it for the sake of this conversation. A lot of men, like growing up and you know how we're being nurtured and stuff like that like expressing our emotions or being able to express our emotions through that that emotional ladder that scale that most women have the window to Mm -hmm. uh, express themselves with like we're not really afforded that so that does you obviously comes out in different ways as you mature and become a man like Mm -hmm. you might hold more things inside which is very bad but again like we we were saying and because of that you want to protect yourself because Obviously, we see that a lot of men are not very good with rejection. So, you know, when you put yourself out there and then you get rejected, men don't know how to take rejection no, well. You're right. Like, you're right. you know what I'm saying? They do not know how to take rejection well. So I think that plays a part in why um, what you were saying, like when it comes into these type of situations, why is it that uh, men will wait until it gets to the point where the woman is just like, what do what are we doing? Mm-hmm. Cause it's like, well, he already knew that he liked you. You know he likes you. You guys do all this, but why hasn't he said anything? Mm. Cause he's chicken. He doesn't want. He's like, I don't want to put myself out there. And if you know this goes wrong, then it's like. Uh. But again, but like I said, most men already know what they want to do. Right. For me, if I know that I'm like, yo, I'm gonna date you, like we're recording, girlfriend, like we're we're, we're exclusive, exclusive. Oh, from the good, you already know. So uh, you. Month number, I don't know. Month number four. <laughs> month number yeah. four. Okay. If we're spending a lot of time, you know, if we're spending that much time, and you don't have nobody else, you don't burn the black. Yeah, yeah. We don't. We're we all. <laughs> Gotta keep the black the midnight oil every day. Like you know what I'm saying. Hold on. Gotta keep hold the book. Hold on, Greg. What happened? You said you gotta keep. You gotta keep the. You gotta keep the book. Why you gotta you keep gotta the keep, book? You gotta keep Funny. the book. You got. You got. You got have at least at least like uh like. Two two solids that you can always you know call up anytime. Yeah, you know? the name of this when, iPhone when, is called the Black Book. 
When do you when do you delete or burn the black book? You never delete the burn the black book. Okay, so here's my hold on. I'm gonna let you finish that real quick. So are you genuinely dating with intent if you're holding on to your black book? You know, I mean you can't date with intent. Like the black book the black book could just become friends. Just you know, people that you know. You know, it doesn't really like you could date with intent. You could like just not just easily just move on with your life without contacting them. But that's so happens that let's say your situation didn't work out. Okay, well, you might need to call somebody up when you get them lonely nights. You know, may need some time to, you know, need a cuddle to, to cry on the shoulder sometime, get a drink, you know, talk your problems out. And there's nothing wrong with that. To piggyback off there's of nothing wrong. Like any man with discipline, you, whether it's there or not, when you're dating with intentions and you know this is the person that you want to date, um, exclusively, yeah. This you, nice call. you put on them blinders, man. Like any man, yeah. them, like it don't matter because it, 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 even if the black book is there or not, once I leave the house, there's there's always gonna be a woman that's more beautiful than you. There's the woman I'm talking to. There's always gonna be a woman that's smarter than one. Okay, J Cole. To. Like there's always gonna, you know, what I'm saying there's gonna be one that's taller, <laughs> that's thicker. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, guys yeah. are gonna look. I'll, I'll, I'm waiting for the sage. I'm waiting for the sage to get get, get put out. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, like the, the essence. They're not you. So any man with discipline doesn't. It doesn't matter if it's there or not. I don't have to. I don't need to burn it. To, I don't need to eradicate it. Right. You can just ignore it. Yeah, exactly. What you What do you think about the black book, Ray? Um, the black book is always there. I think everybody always. You know how they say like, don't put all your eggs in one basket. It sounds terrible, but like. Everybody always has somebody waiting in the wings for mm. Mr. or Mrs. whomever to mess up so they can slide in. Everybody does. <laughs> now, everybody that's, does. That's Men true. have it, women have it. Somebody's waiting for your significant other to fumble so that they'd be like, hey, are you okay? How's your heart? Like, all that stuff. You need to talk. We need to talk, to talk with and then that's when they flip in and they like <laughs> take over. They take over your vulnerability or whatever. Uh -huh. Um, but like uh, Vlad was saying, it's about your discipline. So it's like you know that person is checking for you, but if you're really focused on developing something with your person, you're not even gonna check for that person. Right, right. So I want to. I know Vlad. Vlad answered this question earlier about pretty much how he learned about dating with intent and relationships. You know, you said you, you grew up in a two-family home. You started in your parents. Um, I want to give you guys a chance to answer that too. So where did you, who taught you about relationships? Or what taught you about relationships? Uh, TV. I mean, I, I grew up in a single-parent household, so I didn't, I didn't see it. And then my mom, we married. But it wasn't to like that level of like, lovey dovey it wasn't you know where i saw it you know what i mean um exhibited in a way that would you know empower me to then search for that same thing outside of the home and so um i was big on like watch like old black and white you know movies stuff like that you know what mm -hmm. what i mean so I, I learned i learned how to like open the door for a lady watching those old movies um you know, standing up when she goes to the bathroom for my dinner from a table, uh, pulling out her chair type stuff. Like, I didn't learn that mm -hmm. from, like, my dudes out, you know, in the streets. You know what I mean? I just learned it from just, you know, just watching old movies and seeing how those old fogies out here was out here just, at that time was how, how they treated their woman. Now, and that's how I learned. And so then I took the, that type of chivalry and I incorporated, incorporated in how I went about my day in life. Uh, but, like, learning how to like that whole household and dynamic was really just like watching TV gosh, sure. it wasn't really from anything so outside of that uh, right um so I grew up in a two-parent household um but I wouldn't really say that like my parents were super like lovey-dovey not huge on PDA I don't know how many Haitian parents are really huge yeah, I was gonna PDA. say the same thing no, yeah. No, yeah. Um, however, it was a household with a lot of respect um, and a lot of teamwork and all that stuff. So I think for me, that's how that was like my first example of it. 
And then I think, and even now, like, I go about relationships very, um, not naive, but like lighthearted, yeah. but it's still yeah. intentional. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, if you think about the relationships that you had in high school, like that puppy love type thing, it was yeah. so simple, so easy. Boy sees girl, girl sees boy. They like each other. They want to spend time with each Like, it was so easy. Girl, we had that in high school. We went to all-girl high school. <laughs> we went to an all-girl high school. Yeah. So we went to all-girl yeah. high school. Oh, like, what oh, high school oh, did you oh. see that high? We had boys. Oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, had a fun high, high school. school. Yeah. But it was about, like, like I said, I want to have a fun time for a long time with dope right. people. Right. So, like, if I met somebody that I really liked, I want to be around you and I want to have a good... It was really that simple. And it's still right. that simple for me. Right. Oh. oh, still. Okay, so we're fast forwarding to now. How has your experience been? So, I know you're saying it's still that simple to find someone to have a good time with. Mm-hmm. Mayday. Um, <laughs> that's, that's still my plan of action like my, my plan of action is still okay. to have a good time with dope people now <laughs> finding that many dope people that I want to sincerely have a good time with yeah, not so much um, gotta go to a swingers club what? that's not what I'm talking about stop thinking it's so sexually <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, can we just go to like a yeah. or something? can we grab a drink I don't want to be drinking from the chandelier <laughs> I mean have you swung from a chandelier before no, I'm joking uh, <laughs> it sounds fun though <laughs> but I yeah, forgot what the topic was no you asked basically asked them uh, as far as Oh, where your current experiences. Yeah, yeah, my current experience. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like now that we're older, um, I'm personally attracted to older people. Mm-hmm. So if I'm at 34 and I'm attracted to men who are like 40 or something like that, they may be dope individuals, but now they're like, they, they kind of step back a little bit because they're like, oh, but you want children. I already have a 22-year-old. Like... <laughs> Mm. I'm not gonna start over again. Or oh, you want to get married? Huh? I've been divorced, and I went from a five bedroom mansion to now living in a one bedroom in like Randolph. Like, so they're a little scorned. They've lived their life, and I'm not finding somebody who wants to do the same thing that I want to do at this point. So, so, so they're like they're like bitter females then. <laughs> a little bit yeah I don't know if scorn is really the word but it's like they've lived whatever life they they chose they in their 20s and their that. 30s and now that they're older they're not trying to do it again right now, now they have trying to have a good time yeah <laughs> for a long time trying, yeah, for a long they, time they trying to have fun now so, right uh, they already did the long part right <laughs> Greg and then Vlad uh what are your Complications or that you're finding when it comes He's to dating with intent. Complicate? What do you mean by complications? Like, well, dating with intent. Finding, dating with intent. I, I guess. I mean, I would have to choose to date with the intent. That's right. the thing. You know what I mean? Like, if I'm not, if I'm not choosing to date with intent to like look for a prospective partner in terms of just you know what I'm looking for or what I think I'm looking for, it just it just wouldn't be like I wouldn't. It wouldn't cross my mind. I mean, a person. I mean, it could just be where I might, you know, meet someone, and it's just a, a cool vibe. And then as I'm getting to know this person and, and chilling person, I'm like, okay, I want to spend time more with this person. Then I guess my intent will change. Like I'm not going into the, you know, to the to the space with expectations. Like, okay, well, I meet sure you here. Well, I'm gonna know in two weeks that you know. We won't get married in in in, in the next year and a half. You know what I mean? Like I'm just not, I'm not, I'm not in that wavelength. I mean, I'm just with the, like you know, like Regina said. Regina says that, you know, meeting someone, seeing how dope they are. Um, I guess kind of doing your own vetting of them, and seeing how they are, and then you know, taking it from there, and then your intentions and your, 
opinion of them changes as you get to know them. So I don't go into the a relationship with the intent. I don't know if that's wrong or right. It's just how I feel that, you know, it make, works for me. Question. Not question, comment. You do have a level of intent. The same way how, like, my level of I mean, intent is to have a good time. Your level of intent is to have a good time and get to know this person. Now, it doesn't I mean, mean that your intention is to go down the aisle with this person. Your intention is to go down the aisle eventually. Maybe. My first intent, I'm not my first, you behind behalf, but, like, you know what I'm saying? My first intent is to try to get some ass. That's the first intent. Like, <laughs> that's, 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 you know what I mean? I mean, no, that's not, but I mean, that, I'm, 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 I, I, any man would tell you that. Like, that, that any man tells you different than I would tell you is lying to you. The first intent is like, okay, I see someone's attractive. I want to see how that, I want to try to get in the pants. And then from that moment, he might just say, you know, he might meet you and talk to you like, wow, first. It, it, it depends. depends on what? What? If, if you're attracted I'm, to I'm, someone. I'm big on sharing my space. Okay, so, go ahead. Like, I, when someone asks me, when it's funny, he's like, have you ever had a one night stand? I always ask myself, have I actually had a one night stand? It probably was supposed to be a one night stand, but just the way that I, I guess, date and court, whatever, whatever happened, you know, it wasn't. And then I, and I ended up to a two night stand. Oh, then I was a three night stand, stand. So it's not a one night stand. It's not a one night stand. It's not a one night stand no more. One so, night yeah, stand I mean, is y'all get it in and then you just don't talk ever yeah. again. So, yeah, like meet a girl in the subway and take her home. And, you know, see, I never met. I see. I don't meet randoms. No. And and and, and, and really. And so, okay. and because I had experiences where women were, they were tapped. <laughs> yo, they were they were cuckoo for cuckoo puffs, and I was like, oh. yo, cocoa puffs, cuckoo puffs. You know what? I, you know what I meant. And I, and I'm like, bro, I'm not. I'm never doing this again. You know, kick shorty out the crib. Now she's banging on the door, and I was like, bro, my neighbors see this, they're gonna think I'll beat this girl up. Like, you should have called me. The police come. I had a yank the police. Listen, I was on my way to work. Like I was. How was the sex though? Apparently, it was really good. No, it had to be really trash. good. She ain't oh, doing man. that for no. No, the sex, no, 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 the sex was trash. It was. It was. She was the to uh, you worst, huh? To you, it was trash. No, I, I sucked too on purpose because I got <laughs> to a point where I was just like, I don't even want to do this no more. So. I don't know what you got to put your A game. You got to put your A game on the time, man. I don't know what that was. Like it was, it was weird. But point is, to Greg's point, I, I'm not the type. I'm really big on my. I'm really big on space. So before I even try to jump in the bed with you, I kind of need to know who the fuck you are as a person. You need your energy. You need to know what the energy. Yeah, is like. just a little bit. Like I don't need to know your whole really? family, uh, history, background. I mean, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. But really, I don't, I don't, I don't need your wow. social security number. I just need a little. I, uh, a little bit, of, a little bit. Of, wow, uh, that's that's interesting. I've like, never like need to know your name. <laughs> yeah, like I've I've <laughs> went on I've went on a a couple well a couple days well like a day one time I can remember years back and met a shorty went all through you know chill through, through the city um have fun she lived in Staten Island I was like yo it's kind of late you want to go home late you come to my place and came to my place and we had. A good time, you know, for a long time, just, and you know, and, <laughs> and, and then was that was it? You know what I mean? I met a, you know what I mean? I met her shortly at a, a party. Came, she came to Brooklyn, lived in the Bronx, came down, had a good time for a long time. She's like, "Yo, it's too far, all this stuff," and that was it. I mean, so like, that's interesting. You said you, you, you that you have to know, like for me, like if you're attracted, you're clean. Um, you know. But how do you know if the person's clean? If it's, I mean, I can't talk because I mean, I've had a few one night stands right. myself. But so I, I, like, I can't, I can't, I can't get your car facts. You know what I mean? I can't get your car facts right then and there. Like that's not. I mean, I could show but you that, my car facts. But, but it's on my phone. A one night stand, you're not supposed to get their car facts. It's just you just need right. to get one rubbed off real quick. Go about your business. Yeah. Like go about almost. Business, right? I mean, almost equivalent to like carnival wine. I just want to get my wine real quick. And I lost this. I ain't got to talk to you no right. more. Like, party, the lights came on. It's time to go home. Like, yeah, right. there's lights a whole song sometimes. after. Last call, baby. Last, yeah, <laughs> last call. Uh, <laughs> but what are your thoughts on online dating? Oh, I don't know. Uh, you going to let Regine take this? Or, let, yeah, let, let's I'll, start. I'll yeah. start. And then, and then you can pick up if you have experience. So I um, I tried online dating because I, I 
felt like that was the thing to do. Um, and then especially during COVID, how do you go out and meet people if you can't really go out and everything is closed? So I tried online dating and like I'm, my profile is on a couple different ones because I figured, you know, well, if I'm going to go to this bar and that bar and this place or that place or whatever. So I kind of used all these different platforms, kind of like my social areas yeah, to meet people. Um, but what I was finding was that like, nobody had intention right. <laughs> and I know that this is the topic but it's like people would go on there if they're bored yeah it's not like they, they would know, on there but... to hopefully meet somebody dope yeah. it was like a, a, a time passer for them whereas mm-hmm. me on the other side like oh I'm hoping that I meet somebody who's really cool that I could vibe with and like I met a couple of people, but like that's what I'm saying they would see your date you attractive young lady, they like, yo, I'm locked in this bitch just like you. I'm trying to see what's up. <laughs> Listen, the last time I did online dating was Plenty of Fish when it first came out. I've never did online dating. I've never did online dating. My version of online dating is Facebook. No. <laughs> I mean, I've, 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 I've sent in some, I sent in the DM. See, my version That's... of online dating is Twitter really... and Instagram. <laughs> and, and it's a combination of both because I get the Twitter. And then I'm like, let me get the gram, see what you see what you you know what do you look, look like. like. But even you know filters and everything else. I mean, you never Snapchat DM or what? Um, nah, Snapchat is like the last thing. That's when y'all want to get do nasty stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's like you know that's like that's 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 like the last one. That's like the last step. That's that's to. like day three. Yeah, that's no, that's yeah. You know, you get the Twitter. Which other for you, shoe? Day either three. Twitter, day either three? Twitter, Snapchat's third base. Cause it, when you, cause it's, it's when you go out and you're like, yo, I've been talking to blah, 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 blah. you know, I want to make a move. She might send you something risque. You might send them something risque on the snap, and then yeah. now y'all doing risque together later on in the evening. Yeah, she got to know how to do invisible ink on the text message, you know, iPhone, yeah. Yeah, but you know um, I mean? girls, girls like more security. They wanted to. Sorry, 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 Regina. You have you have an Android. I, I mean, I, I was. Yeah, you don't get, you don't get the invisible ink. Yeah, you don't get the invisible. You don't get the invisible ink. Conversation. You don't get the invisible ink. But you get the invisible ink. I prefer. I me personally, I prefer my version of online dating through Twitter because this is gonna sound terrible and very stalkerish, but I, I don't care because women are the natural stalkers at birth. Like that. That's, Excuse me. We like to call ourselves detectives, thank stalkers. You. Same thing. Yes, it it's is the not. same thing. A detective is a stalker. With a, FBI. A detective is a stalker with a profession. <laughs> but, when y'all, but when y'all need to figure things out, who you call your female friends? I'm a, I'm a stalker by whatever. I'm a detective <laughs> by nature. Listen, that, so that's go, that's being a the therapist, Shil. That's not that's not being a detective. That's just being a the therapist. No, I find shit out. Sorry, I don't know what you're talking <laughs> about. Show it's the it's the pango. It's the pango. <laughs> um, like I was saying, yeah, I just like Twitter because it's someone's digital footprint like a digital journal even if it's not their true self and it's just like their online personality their true selves do slip in there because it's really impossible well let me refrain from saying that because anything's possible but it's usually unlikely that a lot of your own thoughts don't slip into your online persona so as someone who is you know sifting through all the stuff and i'm looking you come across like a page and i see an an attractive person and they now they're tweeting things and stuff of their interests stuff that they like to do you know it's like it's it's a live it's like live data you're just like oh okay oh so you're seafood mommy all right well okay well uh, if i want to take you on a date i already know oh would you like to go to seafood how'd you know bitch because you tweeted that shit i wrote it down that's how i know i'm not special (laughs) I've been studying you, like so. What's up? I love that. that. It's so bad, but I, yes, it. I love that. Like that. That is intention. Like you decided to study this person based off of the things that they tweeted, and that's the same way how like if somebody's posting stuff on Instagram and like you're actually taking mm-hmm. note of the things that they're saying. Mm-hmm. I think that's that's it's romantic. Not, it's, a little you. it's a little you. You're giving Joe vibes, but like it's okay. <laughs> See, but it's with good intentions because then because I always go with I always go into the situation, even though I know all this stuff about this person. When I meet you, dog, you can be not what I thought you were. You can stink, you can smell, 
you know? So I always take that into account. So I don't, I'm like, all right, you know, I'm not going to just hop in there all willy nilly. Like I'm still going to uh, practice a little bit of, you know, discernment and do my due diligence at the end of the day. Um, Any, <laughs> any regrets? <laughs> <laughs> any regrets no you laugh though no. no, I mean that, that laugh you gave that means you gotta be the one to talk yeah, about it. it's um, juicy or what would let me let me make it a better easier question 34 year old Vlad what would you tell 23 year old Vlad Ooh. You think so, oh, I'll tell 23 year old Vlad that no <laughs> Huh? Greg is <laughs> Greg is me in the peanut gallery right now. <laughs> <laughs> what I would tell twenty, I would I would say loosen up a bit. Don't take everything so seriously because you're just gonna end up disappointing yourself. And what I mean by that is, um, yeah, like they say, your twenties should are be your whole year. Party. Did you have a whole year? Late. I was. I, I started everything late. Did twenty should be your whole year? Maybe eight. I don't know. I don't know. I lost my virginity. Maybe it was like eighteen turning nineteen, and then. Well, that's not late. Well, compared to everybody else, that was. No. Oh, I feel like I. Yeah. Hold on. But then I didn't have sex again for like another year. Oh. Yeah. yeah, So wait. So you did. You did not have a whole year. I had a whole year when I was like. Two thousand and twelve or thirteen. How old was I? I I don't know. Maybe like twenty four, maybe. That my my I had a great whole phase. I I had a great whole phase too. I I had a great <laughs> whole phase, but it was but it was. It's actually, important. I feel like you can. It, had I learned the things I learned without the whole phase, I probably would appreciate it more because I didn't really feel like I didn't. I feel like I didn't necessarily need it. You know, I'm a love boy, so I I threw it all. At the end, when you know I was going through my phone and seeing all these women who were saying that I was like, you know, I was I was only a bad guy because they felt like this was going somewhere, and, and it did it. Not because I was a bad guy, I was treating them bad. It's just like I was a bad guy because I was like, oh my god, you know, I thought you were the one, and blah, 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 all that other stuff, and I was like, oh, you're bad. I'm like, I'm not bad. Like I gave you, I gave you a great two months. <laughs> summers, uh, summers like what three months. <laughs> yeah like i gave yeah. you two months out of the summer like and it was a great two months like i think i was a good host but anyways um yeah i don't really feel like i needed the whole phase like what yeah nah i just it's like just, the only great thing i can actually say that came out of it was that a couple of years if there's any children learning like there shouldn't be i i learned i, I was already good but I learned to be better. Oh yeah, because different women, are, everybody's um, sexual organs are set up differently. Like, I mean, yeah, vagina's a vagina, but you know, not everything works. I'm, this is another topic. Oh, oh I might, okay. not, this might have to be another conversation. Oh, all right, but I'm just saying, I just I'm gonna need something stronger than Tango for this. I, I just knew, like you know, like it, like I took it, I took I took it up a s- several did notches. My child sleeping. I, okay. Yeah, I, I took it up several notches doing doing the whole face, and I think that was the only bad thing because I became full of myself. Lord have mercy. I can't fool myself. I was like, hey, listen, I might as well just sign, sign up for Pornhub because that's how I, this, I am killing it. <laughs> I am killing it. Greg. I, I guess that was the only bad thing. Greg, whole yeah. phase, any advice to uh, Greg 10 years ago? Um, Be more confident, man. Um, Be more confident. Um, Definitely could uh, embrace a uh, better whole phase. Of my twenties, because I wasn't as um, I was I was shy. I was shy. I mean, I, I keep it. I keep one hundred. I keep it the buck. I was shy. You know, I me mean, coming up, and so therefore, like, I always didn't feel as if I was like, you know, that that dude. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I, I'll be able to like to, to get them, get them joint, get them shorties, get them young ladies. He's you know, trying. He's time. trying to. He's trying to cover <laughs> his New York words. Them joints. You know what I mean? You know, them, them, them ladies, and so like, so being. So when you're like, you know, when you be that shy dude, you know what I mean? Then you talk, you know, getting confident. You might, you know, get the job, you know, working out more. You know, your, your dudes is giving you confidence. Now it's like, oh shit, like this is what it is now. Okay, oh this is what this is what the the, the popular dudes in high school was feeling. Uh, this is what this is what it was really <laughs> pretty much. And 
You know what I mean? So like, so like sometimes like that happens, you know, at the later stage, right? So that's why sometimes like that, but you said dating with intent, like the dudes who may who you like, okay, well, we're getting older, stuff like that. They now probably into the, into that realm where, oh shit, like this is I'm I'm be working now. My money's good. I'm in a I'm in a good profession, so I have a little social status where I can project, you know, my my sensual my my worth to society, you know, type of stuff. So now they feel like, oh shit, you know, you know they, they keep themselves in shape, they still look good, and so now dating with intent is now not the thing in their mind now. Now it's like, well, I didn't get to really embrace my 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 old phase back when I was younger. Mm. Now. Now you like older. to walk around with no shirt on, right? Walk around with no shirt on, like you feel, yeah, you like, oh shit, like take care of my body, like I, I, I got a better style, and all of a sudden now, the you know, maybe you know, joints who was thirty who are twenty eight, they're looking at you and they're like, oh, you, 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 you good, you know, like well, you, you nice, and so now you feeling yourself at an older age now, so now the ladies who want to like have you and, and date you and. With intention and have a family and, and, and who care about you, you're not in the mindset where it's like, yeah, right now I'm in my prime. Now I'm trying to knock everything out the box, <laughs> and you know, and, and but 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 like I mean, I'm just telling you how it is. Like you're, you're how I even feel. Like how I felt. Like when I started, you know, getting a better job and my social status. You know, in terms of like yo, how I like, present myself to the world, society, and working out. And how I got my style better, I was like, oh, I, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting better, I'm getting more looks. It's easier to talk to the ladies. I'm, I'm able, able to pull these numbers quicker. I'm able to get things, you know, in my favor now. And so, you know, they with intent, you know, like I said, it's just sometimes it's just not in my mindset. It's just, hey, I'm, you know, I'm, 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 they, find, they find me attractive out here in these streets. You know what I mean? So I'm outside. <laughs> outside yeah. two weeks outside. old outside. <laughs> yeah, outside but you know what i mean but but, but that but that, that that's like that's the that's like a real detriment right because i think like regina says like you want to meet dope person and and you know and they may have been through a divorce or whatever happened in their life and now they want to like live that's like true. they were younger like they were in their 20s like, they, like being single they're trying and to reclaim so, what they lost or what they thought they lost. Like, well, I don't know about reclaim, but like, but they, they're getting they, they're if they keep themselves in physical shape and they're doing what they got to do, you know, in terms of like maintaining their, their livelihood, people want to find them attractive, and so right. therefore you're you're in a situation where okay, well, I'm a woman who I'm you know maturing, and I want a family, and these dudes, if you know, they like hell. Of a twenty-eight year old or a thirty-something year old, like you know, find them attractive. They're like, yo, damn! It's like there's so many options. Like right? I, I could go, I could fly out here, I go to Essence Festival, have fun at Essence Festival, and you know, do all go, you know, go all over the place and live their life without yeah. type of any attachment. You know what I mean? I think that's what it is. You know, right. just having that non-attachment. And Does that get old at any point in time? Say it again. Does Gallivanting get old at any point in time? Cool. It depends like, on it, it, depends, yeah, it, it. Yeah, it depends. Yeah, it does. It, 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 after a while, a dude wants that main one where he could just like, all right, cool, I'm gonna come to Shorty, I'm gonna be with her, she gonna cook me some food, she gonna be here yeah, when I'm in the hospital or something. <laughs> I'm sick, I could call you. Her you are like, so West Indian. Oh, it's so, it's yeah. so true because I'd be wondering about these men who'd like be here, there, and everywhere, but it's just like if you're not. If you're not ever going to pour into one person, who's going to be there for you to wipe your ass when you can't wipe it yourself? Right. So I mean, yeah, dudes, Those men dudes have that. <laughs> yeah, but dude, but dudes have the they they, they are a main one where they could like always, like you said in the black book, like they have that main one who they always. <laughs> but it's true, like it, like it'd be corny to say a dude doesn't have a. Uh, so what if the oh, people sure. in your black book end up getting married or they got they move forward with their own life? Oh, well. Then you got I mean, nobody so, to call. Well, you can you well, burn then, it then? Well, then you, you hopefully that you got another one coming up in the pipeline oh, as, as you as you That's traveling not, and living see, your life. My black. This is this is why I never burn my black. I'm just keeping it real, sure. Not, go ahead. No, he he. No, I'm he, he's talking trash to me. Oh, and, <laughs> and it's not solely sexual because for the most part, most of the people I end up sleeping with. 
I do form some type of friendship with them. So like I know you as a person. So it might be you might be involved in a certain sector that later on in life, I don't know that I might sector. Yeah, you you know that I, or field that I might be interested in. I'm gonna need your help. Like, oh I know so and so, blah blah blah. You're married now. So I know that we ain't finna do none of that. But I just want your opinion on this because I know that you've been doing this. So and we're cool. Okay. Like a lot of the girls that I've um a lot of the women had relations with yeah a lot of women I had relations with like with friends that doesn't mean I'm hitting them up and checking up on them and they're not hitting me up and checking up on me because right out there and they may be in relationships themselves married or with you know with a child or have kids uh might you know comment on something on the gram but you know that's as far as it goes you keep it cordial we're adults yeah. Um, yeah I got I got cut off from my black book one time show you um we have a try to cut you a brother um but right. uh yeah, I had a story. I was like, I mean, after after my breakup, I was like, yeah, I was trying to, you know, take something down. And he was like, yeah, we had a good thing, but, you know, um, he went to a relationship. So I was like, damn, okay. You know, but, you know, hit up. He's still cool. We're still friends. You know what I mean? And, you know what I mean? I was like, yo, I, I, and I was like, be, I, I, I was being disrespectful. I was like, yeah, he probably can't bust you down like I can. You know what I mean? And she was like, probably. And I was Where like, I'm this man. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna let, I mean? let Ray Jean give us her her talk to ten ten years ago Ray, and then we we gonna wrap it up. Oh shoot, um, Ray at twenty six was twenty six was a good year. All right, oh, I wanted to tell myself, <laughs> <laughs> I just told myself um, this he's not the one, um, because I made the mistake of. <laughs> I made the mistake of like being locked down in my twenties. Yeah. When I should have been out and about and dating and stuff like that. So the way that they tell you, like, you know, your date your your twenties is when you like learn yourself and you learn what you like and blah 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 blah. So yeah, that's what I would have done. Okay. Okay. That's what's up. Well, we're like, definitely we, we... gonna we're definitely gonna do a part two because I when I gave this topic to other friends, everybody was like, that's dope. You should do it in multiple stages. And I'm like, okay, cool. So we will do this again. We are going to have other conversations because I want to talk. I don't even remember what you said that sparked. And I said, it's going to have to be a second topic. He um, talked about his sexual refinement after having his bust down phase. Yeah. yeah that's going to be a topic. Bust down. That's going to be another topic. Um, go ahead and throw out your social medias if you want people to follow you. Oh, you can follow me at He's So Vlad. That is H E S O V L A D. That's on Instagram. Uh, my tw- don't follow me on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What is somebody can't talk to you on Twitter, Twitter but you out here stalking nah, everybody? Nah, nah, nah. I got my first Twitter profile got banned. Like, if not for what you think, but it was, I'm glad it did because now people can't go back and see wild stuff. Because Jesus, wild, wild cowboy back in the day. But anyways, Instagram, he's so Vlad. Again, that's H E S O V L V L A D. You've done this before, yeah. Well, once again, it's um, yeah. I'm a salesman, <laughs> right? Yeah. I'm- I don't oh. Really, oh, wait. Come I'm on, I gotta, say, I gotta say sex will drop it for last. I got nothing. <laughs> Go ahead, drop, drop your handle, Greg. I don't got nothing, you know. I'm, you know what I mean? Sex with chocolate is like, you know, like sex with chocolate, you know, dark at night, you know? Cold, no, he really cold. don't. He, he, he don't got rid of <laughs> social media. No, he got rid of it. I got Twitter. I can't remember my Twitter handle by heart. I think, I think it's I Live in the Dream. Some shit. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> this. <laughs> Say what? I'm Do waiting you, for I'm waiting for my friend to come back on Instagram. We used to send each other the best clips and stuff, and then he had been. Yeah, yeah. I'm more, I'm more for IG. You know what I mean? Gotta gotta you know keep 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 the mystique about me. God, go ahead, Ray. Drop your handle. Uh, so my handle is Ray Levin. R E Y L O V E N. All right, love it all this time. Ray Levin. There you go. Ray Levin. Yeah, All right, that. guys. Well, thank you. <laughs> I can't. I, thank you so much for letting us pick your brain about dating with intent. Maybe somebody will slide in one of y'all's DMs. If they do, let me know because <laughs> I want to be a part of this situation. They don't see what we look like. <laughs> I know. Well, so if they go, of... if they go on your social media, oh, yeah, you're, they you're they can. Uh, if you fell in love with my voice and you want to see what I look like, <laughs> head over to my Instagram where I barely post photos of myself. You really do. You really but are if a good you job. watch my stories and get to see what I look like. Stay tuned. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, thank you again. I appreciate it.
and for giving me your time. And we'll do this again. Did you have fun? Appreciate it. I have fun. Yeah, appreciate yeah, it. I have fun. I, have fun. I, I think I was good. No, I do want to have sex talk. It's a little thanks, weird because you're for... like a you're like a brother. Can can we do sex talks? Yeah. So I like. I'm, like, no, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to leave. You have a whole child. Like we already know what you do. Like come on. <laughs> pretty much. Pretty it much. Worked, it works. It works. Right. <laughs> or or it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you so much. I gotta figure out how to end this thing.